Hello there, Dominic here with some tips about customizing Mono's interface. Now my very first video on YouTube was about, was named custom layouts in uh, Modo, but actually that was the first YouTube test video and that's actually not a great one and I wanted to save you the time by watching it, by showing you what I do when I customize the interface. First of all, I'm going to show you my config folder. What I do when I make a change to the interface is with each change I make a backup of my config file. Like you see here, I have now 18 versions. Why do I do that? Well, s customizing the interface in Modo can be a bit tricky. And sometimes when you make a change, something happens that you didn't intend and you cannot find a solution to revert to what was good. And then when you trash your config file, you have to start all the way from scratch. So if you make a change and it's good, quit Modo, make a backup of your config file and then proceed to make other changes. That way you don't have to start all over again if something goes wrong that you cannot fix. So always make a backup. That's true for modeling. That's also true for your config file. Um, now what I like is, well, what you see now is my default window default state of Modo. I have trashed my config file. What I like to do is have a new tab over here with a big window for modeling and what you see here, I'm right now in the model tab or the model quad tab is similar. You have the tools over here in the properties and you have the items, shader tree, uh, groups, images and then the properties, channels, displays and all, all of that. I would I like to have this all the way in one place on the left so that I have one big screen to do my modeling in and also I don't like these modo modes over here because it takes up screen pixels uh, vertically also over here I have my uh, status feedback it also takes away screen space so I'm going to show you what I do so I'm clicking here over here you see a plus sign click on it and I'm going to add a tab over here. So when I click on this plus and I go to application and I set it to viewport group. Now you see I have a new tab over here. This is my model quad. This is my new created viewport group. I can give it a name by right clicking on it and say viewport controls, uh, rename tab and for instance my tab and I have renamed it. First of all, I'm going to, oh, in the left upper corner, you have a little uh, little uh, uh, circle. When you control, click and drag it and swipe, then you get a second window. I'm going to drag it to the left. This one, you have a little triangle over here in the upper right corner. Again, click that. And then I'm going to set this one to 3D edit and a model quad view. I choose a model quad view. Why? Because when I hover over a viewport, for instance the perspective view, when I press 0 I have a single one and when I press 0 again I have my four views again, my perspective and my orthographic views. So that's why I choose model quad. I can always enlarge one of my viewports and when I've enlarged it, I can press Control Spacebar to go to orthographic views like that. And again, zero to go to a four view. Now I'm going to back to my model quad or to my model quad tab. And I want to save these panels. Uh, I find it easier to save them and then reuse them in my newly created tab than assembling them one by one because over here you see I have items, my shader tree, groups, images. It's a lot of work if I have to choose them all again to create new panels. So I want to save these. First I'm going to choose this one. And when you s uh, over here, when you hover over that little triangle in the lip lift left upper corner, you see, you see that it there appears an uh, orange outline around it. And it stops here, but don't worry, this will be saved too. So hover over it, right click on it, and say save viewport group as. 
So save viewport group as. I'm going to give it the name, for instance, my uh, tools tab, and I'm going to save it in a viewport category application, which is the default when you save the viewport, and I click OK. Now going back to my tab, and first of all, I'm going to make this also a, a tapped viewport. R right click on the little triangle in the upper right corner, go to application and choose tapped viewport. So now you see over here I have tabs. And with this tab it's named none. I'm going to click on the name, right click on it, I'm going to application, that's where I saved my tools tab, you see it over here, click on it and now I have my tools tab over here. So in my model tab I have this, now I, in, my, in my tab tab I have it also. And because I made it a tapped viewport first, now I can click, well I have to make a copy of this first, so again on the when you hover over the circle over here you see again uh, orange outline it stops here, but with save, with the save viewport group as it will get saved. So save viewport group as, and I'm going to call this my items tab, for example. Again in the application, press OK. Now go to my tab over here. I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to application and choose my items tab, and now I have that complete what you see in the model tab over here. Now I have that also over here. And now I can click between this, those two and press zero to have a big screen. And now I have a big modeling screen like that. And because I have no status feedback over here and my modo modes are gone over here, my screen size vertically as is also bigger than the default modo screen size. But I like to have my modo modes. Modo modes is what you see up here. I like them have I like to have them also visible. Now unfortunately I, I would prefer to make them vertical that I could add them in there but I haven't found a way to do that. It's also always horizontal. So I go to layout, choose palette, new palette and now I have a new palette going to resize it when clicking and dragging, going to the little triangle in the upper right corner, right click on it, going to viewport settings, but it is grayed out. Now that this often happens, so first I'm going to set it for instance to modo tools, and now when I right click over here, you see viewport settings has become available, I scroll down, and over here I have Modo Tools, Modo Modes, and over here I like to have the Modo Modes Layout. This is the Modo Modes like you see them in Layouts tab. I'm going to click this and, we're, and you see now I have my Modo Modes. I'm going to resize it like that and I click and drag it all the way up here, over here so it doesn't um, go over my viewport. Now in this video it's not all uh, completely visible like that, but normally when I'm not recording it's uh, completely visible on my screen and now I have everything I have in the model tab and in the model quad tab with this difference that I have everything over here on the left and that I my model viewport is much bigger and I don't have to resize or drag over here and uh, when I go over here for instance and I want to enlarge this press 0 and the keypad and now I have everything of the item list press 0 again when I want to enlarge my properties I can press 0 0 again I have a large viewport and uh, well Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope you find it useful. Remember, when you make changes to your uh, layout, always save your config file incremental. It will save you a lot of time. I hope you found this useful. Uh, this was Dominic. Bye for now.